Challenges are going to be there in life all the time. It's figuring out how to navigate life with those challenges. My next guest is going to share with us how, despite his disability, he's been able to do so many things in his life. Right. So somebody who doesn't know you, who would you tell them who this man is? Oh man, how do I explain myself to someone? Man, I don't know. I'd say a guy that's kind of been through a lot that figures out how to get through life by adapting and living life to the fullest. And talking about living life to the fullest, the first time I saw you, I was told that this guy is a skateboarder. He does the skating or what i am not even sure what snowboarding snowboarding look at that i knew same was... thing but on snow because it's softer oh why did you tell us how do you do this because they are and i'm asking this because there are a lot of people out there looking at themselves and saying you know i can't do this because of this limitation that i have right um for me it was always like i've my whole life i was on like what i called the sidelines like i wasn't able to do things and so finally when i had somewhat of an opportunity i pushed myself to do those things that i love to do and for me it was snowboarding and um, i've had this my left leg amputated for six years and so as soon as that happened that was almost like a blessing to me i was able to do so much more i was out of pain i could move better i could walk better and really that's when my life like kind of started to take form and i was able to do so much so i just was like okay watch people learn from people like now I'm gonna try to do it and I mean definitely a hard a lot of hard work and dedication but our mind is so powerful and if we can train it um, to constantly tell ourselves that you can do this you just got to figure out a way to do it then you can but then there are a lot of people who can get through that yes the power of the mind is great I always tell a story of when I was in the hospital myself, I was hooked to morphine pump, mm -hmm. but I was pumping it, but the pump was not hooked to me. And every time I pumped it, I felt good. But then I realized that was just the power of my mind. But there are people who can't go past that. They are still struggling and stuck in where they are. Mm -hmm. What would you tell the such people? Start small. Uh -huh. do, do something small just to get out there, whether that's walk around your house or pick up a couple dumbbells and do a couple curls. Something so small that you know you can do, but when you finish it, you feel accomplished. You feel like you did something productive. And the more that you do that, the more that you will want to continue to push your body. What is the biggest limitations that you've had? Like, what is one thing that you would say for sure that it's limited you in achieving your goals that you plan to do myself um i don't think it's a <laughs> i don't think it's a physical thing i think that there's always a way to get to where you want to be if you put in the effort but you have to put in the effort so basically you're saying the limitations are just things that you tell yourself. They don't exist. It's what you convince yourself that these are the things that I can't. In a way, there are some limitations, but you can work around those to get very close to the same goal that you want. So maybe if you were trying to snowboard and you can't, it's just not physically possible for you to stand up on the snowboard and go down the mountain. That could be a limitation, but there are many other ways to get that same feeling of being on a snowboard and going down the mountain and getting those same feelings and excitement and thrill without actually doing the task. Is there any moment in your life that you've just sat down and said, you know what, this really has hindered me in so many ways. I wish I was not the way I am. A hundred percent. And I have to do this to myself all the time to convince myself otherwise. But so many times I catch myself and I'm just like, why? Like, well, I, I, unless I did something in my past life, which I don't believe in, like, I don't know why this is, but I know that, um, imagine, like, I see what I'm doing now with two prosthetic legs. Uh -huh. Imagine what I could have done 
without it with two normal legs that have never had any issues but I can't get stuck in that because then it pulls you back but then at the same time though if, yes there is that thought too like you know there's the times that you're like you know you're so frustrated I'm like even for me I'm running and my running leg is slipping off it's too I get so frustrated and say I wish I was not this way but then at the same time I realized but also there are people able bodies out there that are so frustrated about the way things are going for them. Yep. Is there really a point in life that we would say, if I'm like this, then I am satisfied with the way I am? No, I think you have to be okay with yourself to be satisfied. Like, I think that goes pretty deep, but um, if you can find happiness in what you do and accomplishing things and doing good for others and putting a good product in yourself and a good version in yourself out, uh -huh. Of course, we're going to get caught up. They're going to have those days that you just are feeling lousy. Um, and you're allowed to. You are. But just don't get stuck in them too long. Um, but there's definitely days, and for me most recently, um, having this surgery done, I have such high expectations for myself. I thought that I was going to have it done, come out, and just be so close to where I was before I went into the surgery. Uh -huh. um, and not having a knee is the complete opposite of what I thought. But, it is but that so doesn't, much different. But that doesn't mean you've stopped doing what you're supposed Absolute, to do. Absolutely Those not. challenges are out there, but then, you know, part of life is there are challenges, successes, all these things, they are together. There is no way we can separate and say, this year I just want to work around my things that I want to do without all these other things in life. There is no way you can separate them. No, it's all in that point. Come up. Yep, they're so, always together. And you have to figure out how to get out of it. I know you wrote a book. I did. I did write a book. It's uh, it's my autobiography. Um, I released it in October of 2017. Um, it starts from when I was born and goes about up till October of 2017 when I finished it just tells everything I've been through, gets as deep as you want it to get, um, shares almost everything, maybe a little too much people won't want to know about me, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's an open book, literally, about me, and uh, it was a big accomplishment for me. I'd always had people tell me over my life that I should have wrote a book or I should write a book, and um, this opportunity in the midst of a crazy, completely separate medical issue presented itself and I was able to sit down for four or five months and put out hours every day and do something that hopefully has inspired, has changed, has helped hundreds of people along the way. And for people who are watching out there, what's cooking for bread? What is this that bread. is uh, going to be coming up soon? Yeah, so um, the past year and a half has just been healing both from my surgeries and just everything and so we're we're finally starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel we just moved back to colorado uh -huh. um and for me summer is staying in shape getting ready for winter um and for me that's on the mountain as many days as possible i'm still trying to figure out exactly if i want to keep competing and keep pursuing my goal uh for the paralympics or if i want to maybe go a slightly different direction and start having an impact in another way while still snowboarding. I will always snowboard. The passion, the excitement, the everything that it brings to me is, is something second to none. Um, but I feel like I can still do that and make a difference in other ways. And I still have a lot of big stuff planned for the snowboarding. So don't, uh, don't sleep on it too much. And for somebody watching, you know, what, do you, what message do you want to give them before we conclude? Um, two things is always have hope that tomorrow is going to be better than today. Um, because no matter how crappy the day is going, if you can truly believe and have hope that tomorrow is going to be better, that's going to give you a reason to wake up the next day. And the second thing is, it's a quote by John Wooden, UCLA basketball men's coach, and uh, it says, don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can. I have it tattooed across my chest. Um, whatever you want to do, do it in the manner that it allows you to do it and enjoy it. Hey, thank you so much, Brett. And Always love sitting down with Marco. And hey, 
you have been told always have hope and not let what you can't do prevent you from what you can do until next time have a good time thanks mark all right my man